What's up guys, this is Eddie, welcome to a new video, Mental DPS, let's go. Alright, so first we're gonna look at the mid-range AoE loadout, since this is the might based loadout, we're gonna look at the might, which is 187,760. So any damage you do from your superpowers is going to come from might, any damage you do from the weapons is going to come from precision. And I am 396 CR which is maxed out CR for this DLC, The Sins of Black Adam. Now looking at the gear mods, I am using Blast Adapter 5 for weapon, Supercharge Mass Hysteria 3 for head socket, Escalating Might 5 for neck, Berserker for back, Penetrating Strikes for chest, Restorative Telekinesis for legs, maximum damage for hands and tumbling master for feet you can use explosive block or deadly block for feet as well it's up to you now looking at the artifacts we're going to use main three artifacts transformation card strategist card and quizlet uh, for the whole layout single target or aoe so the transformation card is basically it gives you 20 percent critical chance and 30 percent critical magnitude on your attacks it also gives you three percent might three percent precision and some extra stats so make sure you have ranked it at 200. Then we have strategist card which also gives you 4% might, 4% precision and some extra stats. And what it does is basically it will apply a damage over time for 8 seconds uh, which is your basic tactical advantage. And if you have ranked it at 200 it will also increase the potency of that tactical advantage by 30% and also doubles the proc, proc chance of tactical advantage basically it means it will proc more than usual and you will get more damage out of it so if you combine strategist card with transformation card it's a very good combo so make sure you have these two at 200 rank now the third artifact is quizlet mine is at 160 you can get it at 200 and it will give you some extra perk basically so it gives you three percent might and three percent precision and this is basically a pet which will come fight you know by your side so whenever you will use a superpower it will cast a powerful attack which will hit up to eight targets and every five seconds it has a cooldown of five seconds so every five seconds it will hit eight targets with a powerful attack whenever you will use a superpower and then whenever you will use a supercharge it will uh, also hit a medium damage towards you know up to seven targets and it depends on the supercharge power cost like it says right there using a five thousand cost supercharge will deal medium damage toward your primary target hitting to up to seven addition targets so if you're using 10,000 supercharge, it will do a high damage attack, which is like we don't use 10,000 supercharge, so don't forget about that. So if you have it ranked at 200, it will also grant you 1% supercharge back. So make sure you have it at at least 160. So these three artifacts we're going to use, we are not going to use solar amplifier because we are trying to avoid that. For augments, I am using might augments and the mighty implants in the origin augments so make sure you have these ranked uh, at maximum level as well for the allies for first one i'm using you know the comet one comet ally i'm using batman you can use anything you want i also like to use zoom sometimes zoom is zoom does really good damage too so it's up to you it's your choice to be honest but most of them do deal you know decent amount of damage but some are a little bit better than you know the most number two is batman who laughs this is 100% recommended most compulsory ally for DPSing. Basically, it, we are going for the support ability, which is block of the draw. It will draw a random card during combat to gain a buff for 20 seconds. So you can either get Batman card, Enigma card, Frigo card, or Gaia card, but it's, it's, it's random. So whenever you get a Batman card, you will get 5% might. Whenever you get Enigma card, you will get, you know, uh, plus 35 power. Whenever you get Frigo card, you will get 7.5% critical chance. So, but it's really, really necessary for DPSing. You will, like, basically you will get advantage from all these cards uh anyways number two i'm using cyborg right now because this loadout is very very power hungry because of the power cost uh with mental so cyborg will grant me additional power whenever my base generator cells are above 50 percent right now it's ranked six out of eight so i'm gonna max it out uh and it will give you i think around 35 plus 35 passive power so cyborg is very necessary for this aoe loadout other than that you can also use shazam for the second um support ally or you can use batman and use something else over there so it's up to you but i would recommend using cyborg with batman who laughs for this loadout now let's go and look at the skill point allocation 
for weapon I am using rifle because I like to use my uh, range tab in between my powers so this rifle is the only weapon which has the AOE range attack which is a grenade so one point in there under super speed we're gonna go for speed force if you're flight acrobat just unlock that if you have extra skill points unlock these uh, you don't have to unlock these if you don't have extra skill points but this will grant you you know some 10 percent in case and root resistance 10 percent impulse resistance some extra power so if you have extra skill points go for these then under iconic powers we are going to use robot sidekick and new venom boost new venom boost is optional but robot sidekick make sure to get that do not get word of power under stat points we're going to go for super powered it will basically automatically regenerate your power and it will give you 10% might, 10% power and 25% power regeneration. Then you're going to go for critical attack chance and then critical attack damage. Then put everything in might and power since this is a might based loadout. Then if you have extra skill points, you're going to put everything in precision. So we're going to be mid range, but we're going to be using our weapon uh, attacks in between our powers, which is like grenade for, you know, rifle. So make sure you have some extra skill points to put in precision so you get, you know, maximum damage out of grenade as well so now let's go and take a quick look at the loadout all right so here's the loadout i know it can get confusing but just listen to what i have to say i'm pretty sure you will understand how mental works so number one is psychic prison psychic prison is your aoe damage it's a basically it's basically a purple pool underneath your feet and whoever is in the pool it will get damage over time for six seconds six second cooldown number two is invisibility which is your stealth mode basically so whenever you're inside invisibility, you will get extra powers, right? Extra powers and you'll get a different loadout. So we'll get back to it in a second. Number three is Phantom Flames. Terrified enemies will take additional damage and it's also, you know, damage over time. Number four is Mass Levitation. It also is damage over time, dazes the enemy. Uh, the power cost is 200. Number fifth is Terror Tendrils. It's basically your burst power. You have to be mid-range or, you know, close range for it to hit but it does great damage it's kind of you know 360 number six is robot sidekick which was basically your pet and it will do additional damage by your side uh, so you don't have to you know press it again and again so now what we're gonna do is when when we are about to start our rotation we're gonna clip one two three so clipping means we're gonna cancel the animation and go for next power so one two three really quick one two three once you hit one two three you will go inside invisibility so once you're in inside invisibility this is the loadout we're going to use for number one we're going to use mass terror which is your full range burst damage does really good damage number two is menace this is a weapon buff now i know this is a might based loadout and you don't need web buff for this but since we're hitting rifle grenade and we're going to get some extra you know damage out of it and also it helps clip Number three is Psychic Shock, which is your, you know, damage over time. Terrified enemies take additional damage and your enemies will be terrified from terror tendrils anyways. So what you're going to do is basically you when you're about to start a rotation, you clip one, two, three. Once you do one, two, three, you will be inside this and then you clip one, two, three again. So one, two, three, one, two, three really fast, right? Twice. So whenever you you'll, whenever you will do one, two, three over here, you will be out of your invisibility and then you can continue with your, you know, rotation. Number four is new and boost, which is your supercharge. It will increase your damage output for a short time. 45 seconds cooldown, 5,000 supercharge cost. This is optional. You can only use mass hysteria as well. Mass hysteria is basically, it turns you into a phantom. It gives you, you know, it also terrifies the enemy and you can do, you know, it increases your critical attack chance, critical attack damage. So it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, you know, uh, supercharge as well, but it has a 60 second cooldown. So that is why I like to run both. So whenever I'm using mass hysteria and uh, I'm doing the rotation and everything, this is gonna take at least one minute for it to come out of cooldown. So by the time I have my supercharge, you know, charged and I want to use something, I can go in and use new venom boost instead while this is on cooldown. So I like to run both. But if you don't like new venom boost, you can totally skip it and just wait for one minute and you can only use this. Make sure you have robot sidekick inside invisibility as well. If you don't, when you will and you have it on outside, when you will go inside invisibility, it will just, you know, explode and you will have to spawn it again. So make sure you have it over here. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is this psychic shock power is kind of there's there's a basically graphic glitch you can say. So whenever you will do one two three, it might not click on it, but 
uh, if you check your combat log, it will actually hit it. So one, two, three, and you will be out of cooldown, and then you can start with three, four, five. By this time, it will this will be out of cooldown, psychic prison. So we press one, then three, four, five, and then three, four, five. By this time, all these three will be out of cooldown. Then you can start again. One, two, three, one, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, and then you start again. So this is the loadout. Now let's go and take a quick look at the numbers on Spike Target. Alright, so there you have it. We started with 214, basically 2.1 mil, and then 268, 2.6 mil, basically, and then 2.2, 2.3, then again 2.4, then 2.1, and then again 2.4 mil for under 10 seconds. Now, keep in mind this is a uh, sparring target. The ads are basically at one spot. We are just it's the most easier situation ever. But with this loadout, you have to be continuously moving and this number can go either low or either high, basically. So there are a few factors when you're in the raid because you, uh, right now I'm not buffed, right? These numbers are unbuffed. So you, in the raid, you'll be using Nitro, you'll be using Compound, you will have a you know, buff troll with you or a buff healer or whatever. It's, everybody will be buffing you, basically. So these numbers can go easily to around like 300k, 350k or you know 3.5 mil instead of 2.6 mil. But if you mess it up, if you don't hit the target, if you're too far, so make sure like, you know, you're, you're close to the target. If you mess it up, you won't be getting these numbers. But yeah, pretty decent AOE loadout. So now let's go and check out this single target loadout. All right, so here we are with the single target loadout. My might is still the same, my gear mods, my gear, my augments, everything the same, the artifacts are same. But just uh, one tip, do not use rifle like I'm using for single target, use anything else which you can, you know, lunge uh, to the boss so you can be closer to the boss. With rifle, when you lunge, you won't get closer. So this is a mistake I do because I don't have any other weapon right now, but yeah. Other than that, everything is same. So for allies, we're gonna be using Crypto for combat ally, very awesome single target damage. So make sure you use them. And then Batman who loves, same as before. And for third, either use Batman because Batman gives you, you know, 9% might and 4.5% precision. Uh, for the first six damage hits, so you can see the counter going on whenever you are, you know, uh, damaging the boss or ally, uh, ads or whatever. So whenever the, for the first six counters, it will give you nine percent might, and every time you reach a hundred combo, it will reset. So it works. You can use this, or you can use the latest ally Shazam, which is awesome as well. So use that, and you have some other options. So it, you can pick any one you want. For the skill points allocation, everything is basically same. You can see over here, everything is same. So now we're just gonna quickly go and look at the single target loadout. So here we are with a single target loadout and there is no solar amplifier, there is no heat vision. So I came up with this loadout, it works, it hits really good. And to be honest, it's almost, almost same as, uh, you know, using heat vision. I'll tell you the heat vision loadout in a second as well, just in case you want to use heat vision. All right, so first one is telekinetic pull. Dazed enemies will take additional damage. It will do, you know, a burst damage and pulls the enemy towards you if you have high enough dominance. But in most cases, you won't be pulling the enemy towards you. 200 power cost, three second cooldown. Number two is pyrokinesis. It's basically your damage over time and inflicts terror on dazed enemies so the, if the enemies are already dazed it will inflict terror on them 
and does damage over time. 200 power cross, 3 seconds cooldown. Number 3 is Master, as I said before, it's a burst damage, it's an AoE damage, terrified enemies will take additional damage, so the enemies will be terrified from pyrokinesis anyways, and this will do additional damage. Number 4 is your finisher, it will do damage over time, and if your target's health is below 35% health, it will do extra damage. Number 5 is Stealth, we will check it out in a second, and number 6 is Robot Sidekick, as always, as before it's your pet it will do additional damage on the side some people do not like to use robot sidekick but i'm telling you with this loadout you kind of have to use it so once you hit invisibility which is going to be your first power when you start a rotation you're not going to start from one two three four you're going to start from invisibility so once you hit invisibility you're going to be inside this and this will grant you two extra new powers which comes with mental invisibility number one is ambush sleep it dazes the enemy so use this this will retain your stealth you will not be uh, you, you will not come out of invisibility until or unless you get hit and it's a full range you know power you can kind of spam it and you can hit the enemy from you know full range and do some damage but what we are going for is ambush pain blast ambush pain blast is really really high damage it hits up to like 350k sometimes 450k uh with you know just one but you have to be super super close for this to hit so it will inflict terror to days enemies so this will days enemies this will inflict terror and once you hit this you will come out of cooldown it will come out of invisibility sorry so once you hit ambush pain blast you will come out of invisibility and then you can continue with your rotation one two three four one two three one two three whatever right so under invisibility same as before number four is new venom boost it will increase your damage output for a short period of time uh it's optional you don't have to use it number fifth is mass hysteria same as before number six is robot sidekick do not forget this under invisibility as i said before so the rotation is gonna be once you start a rotation you're gonna go with invisibility you're gonna hit this and make sure you're close to the boss so you're gonna hit ambush sleep and then you're gonna get ambush pain blast once you hit ambush pain blast you will be out of invisibility and then you're gonna go for telekinetic pull pyrokinesis mass terror and terrorize so one two three four so by the time you will hit this this will kind of be out of cooldown but you will you can still hit telekinetic pull so you hit telekinetic pull then again invisibility and you just keep on doing the rotation rotation so it's kind of a tricky rotation because you have to be a little bit close for this power but this power is your main source of damage for this rotation for this loadout so make sure you go close hit the enemy get back and start doing rotation then go close hit the enemy start doing rotation or you can just stay mid-range all the way throughout the fight so now let's go to the spine target and see the numbers Alright, so there you have it, 154k, basically 1.5 mil, and then we went down to 119, then 123, and that's that's where I basically messed up. So how I messed up is when I was doing invisibility, I was inside, you know, invisibility, I clipped my weapon. And what happens is when you clip your weapon inside invisibility when you're doing the ambush pain blast or ambush, you know, sleep, uh, it will basically take you out of the invisibility so you will miss out on damage so that's why we only hit 9.6 million instead of you know 120 150 something then we went back to 120 and then 1.4 million 147 basically so it's a nice nice loadout uh, it has the potential and uh, you know even without solar amplifier but if you want to use solar amplifier what we can do is you're gonna place quizlet with solar amplifier and then you're gonna put uh, heat region instead of telekinetic pull everything else will remain the same you start with invisibility you hit one two then you come back you start with you know uh, solar amplifier basically one two three four one two three four then hit invisibility one two then hit one two three four it's very simple so you can do that as well the damage is uh, more consistent than the loadout without solar amplifier but the damage outcome is kind of same 
uh, it also hits like 120 to 140 but the one i am giving you uh, the loadout without solar amplifier it can go up to 154 as you saw and this is basically it this is unbuffed and once you are in the red it will go 170 180 for 10 seconds uh, you know 10 second parser so this is my loadout i hope you enjoy it i hope you like it if you have any questions just comment down in the comment section below and make sure to read the pinned comment for additional info and that's about it so i will see you guys next time